Hello and welcome back. And that's right, today we're going to talk about Top Ton or T.O. Futon and we're going to be talking about CWWK, otherwise known as Chang Wang. Two brands from the East that are heavily associated with DIY NAS servers, DIY custom router boxes with PFSense, OpenWRT, Unray True NAS, you name it, alongside a bunch of other components in the field of custom PC boxes and little gaming rigs there, mini PCs if you will. And in today's video, we want to talk about who are these companies? Let's be realistic. These are two brands coming out from the East, your Alibaba's, your AliExpresses, and uh, your uh, Amazons and your Ebays from time to time, but we don't actually know that much about them. And if you've ever tried to do some deep diving into both of these two brands, are they OEM? Are they just relabeling companies? What are they? How big they are? Where are they based? And more, you will hit any number of barriers, many of which I'm going to show you in today's video. And in this video, we're just going to talk through what we can actually ascertain about these companies what we know about them and throughout the way also talk about what we don't now by the end of this I don't know if this is going to make you trust either of these brands any more or any less. That is not the purpose of this video. I've been talking about these two brands for a while, and whenever we've talked about DIY NAS builds from the ground up, we've always seemingly came back to these two, because even though there are a plethora of Eastern companies out there trying to knock out their own DIY NAS solutions, and definitely more so when we get onto the subject of mini PCs, and definitely the security of a lot of these, there is a debate to be had about just how much we can rely on these companies with our long-term data. So let's start with just overviewing both of these companies very quickly. So first up, Topton. Now I say right now of these two brands, Topton's the one that I think has got the most press. They've been around a lot more in terms of uh, recognition on multiple DIY and build your own forums. Again, when it comes to routers, when it comes to NASs, and of course little tiny mini gaming rigs. And they have approximately from different sources I've looked at, around 300 to 360 members of staff. Uh, they seem to have had one change of address in recent years. And on top of that, when we look a lot at the statistics that the brand them themselves provide they were founded in 2016 i've looked online and i found it in a few different locations some of which are related to e-retailers more on that later on and they seem to have your standard rosh uh, cee or, and um, cf levels of certification there so they've got all of that in place and they you know quite loud and proud of a lot of that documentation for european um uh conformity and a lot of that uh, restrictions of hazardous substances the rohs stuff and they're quite loud and proud about promoting that. I will argue, and we will get onto this a little bit more later on, identifying the addresses of these companies is by no means as straightforward. We've got center offices for both Topton and CWWK in quite some nice districts of China, but very little of this actually conforms back to the factories themselves where these productions are taking place. And moreover, is it just the same factory under different labels? And, you know, that's what a lot of people assume with a lot of these brands here. But... One of the things that always puts me off about this brand, and I've talked about this uh, in previous early top 10 reviews, I don't like that they communicate almost exclusively via Gmail. Now, there is an argument that, you know, maybe their domain, they're not running that email server. Maybe there is the argument that it's easier to use uh, Gmail when you're using Chinese email servers and Eastern European uh, uh, emails, uh, Eastern based uh, email servers overall that there is problems with a lot of the transit of that mail and using a third party established and trusted email provider has you know a degree of uh, support to it moreover the actual fact it will get delivered back and forth for terms of communication and spam but we're not talking about a small company here. We're talking about a company that has got an established platform on the majority of social and on e-retailer outlets there. Now, some of them seem a little bit more e-shop than others. But even then, when you look at the AliExpress and you look at the um, Alibaba output there, you do see quite a large history of sales and stuff there. And we will get into the subject of warranties later on. But when we dig into some of those e-retail outlets, as mentioned, the products they span are pretty much everything we described already. But the more industrial stuff, you tend to find only on AliExpress. Now, when we look at a lot of the history information afforded to them by some of the retail outlets, and again, I think um, Alibaba does a decent amount of digging to a point. I'll say there's actually a lot more information readily available there and they've even got downloadable accessible reports that you can download to get further information about the individual companies and brands 
Indeed, a lot of that documentation, you can actually download reports about these companies from these websites with all of the provided information. And although there is information there with regards to where they are based, it should be highlighted that once again, we're seeing a lot more of those registered business addresses here with Topton. And although we did find a couple of email addresses, for example, this one being toptonminipc.com, Still exclusively, the, main, of, uh, the means of communication with them does seemingly still to be overly reliant on Gmail accounts there for the most part. Now, when it comes to the products, I will say when it comes to warranty and what the brands themselves are prepared to talk about with regards to uh, Topton, they do discuss warranty at numerous areas of their website, but not a lot. So, for example, we've got a product here. And on here, we've got no mention of the word warranty on this page anywhere inside the specifications. And when I looked up the same product on AliExpress, there was still no further information. But some products do highlight warranty periods that range from one to two. They do say three years in some cases, but I do have something of a doubt about that. But there's still no avoiding that some products for uh, Top Ten do at least publish um, warranty instructions there and a lot of those warranty instructions that they highlight on those pages and we'll get to that other page as I flick there in a second some of those warranty um, support actually does highlight an address to send it to but it's just really annoying that it still continues to be that office address that we saw earlier on on that previous PDF there now when moving away from that, when we're looking at the domain and we look at the uh, domain for topton.com, they don't own topton.com, someone else has. So I was kind of surprised that that still wasn't available, but I found numerous instances online of showing that topton.com um, URL in, you know, exchanged and published online. So maybe they had it once and they're no longer using it or they moved on to a .net. We don't know what the reason and the logic is behind that. Now, again, as mentioned, moving away from Ali, uh, Alibaba and onto AliExpress, we find a lot more um, information with regards to the individual products, what they sell and the updates and the direct intervention and interaction with the brand themselves with their products. So we go into a product here and this is something we've referred to previously as the USA star but of course eventually all of these like top 10 it seems to be just a rebranding affair there for the product and we find out more about the specifications what you tend to find time and time and again is when it comes to information on warranty you're not finding very much there and although we flick through we're not really finding anything of use whatsoever ultimately top 10 seemingly appears to be uh, a relabel of established products not that different to Ustar. How much of a hands-on they have on the development still yet to be seen and just how much of the uh, documentation and a lot more of the images of production lines is actually them and not third-party manufacturer remains to be seen. It's just really odd that arguably between CWWK and Topton, Top 10 is the one that is talked about the most online, but they've also got, and you'll see in a moment, less of a, an established precedent for them being hands-on at the manufacturing point. Now, CWWK, or Chang Wang, on the other hand, actually has largely the opposite of everything we've discussed thus far. That's both the good and the bad. This is their main .NET page there. They do have another Chinese.com website that we'll talk about. And for a start, most of the communication that you find on their site, although there are the odd Gmail in there, is actually the majority of them are uh, their own home domain in terms of the communications and correspondence with the brand. Now, finding out more about them in the back end and more about their established products, once again, the range of products on offer are largely the same as everything else we've discussed. Mini PCs, uh, mini router points, and network attached storage there. But also, these guys seemingly list in numerous instances instances the actual board. Now, Topton also lists the actual board, but not on the majority of websites. CWK, uh, CWWK lists bare uh, boards, predominantly in ITX form, and even smaller micro PC form factor across both their own website for sale and the likes of um, AliExpress. Now, you'll notice there, I didn't mention Alibaba. Why is that? Well, Alibaba, they don't seem to be on there anymore. They were clearly on there once, and when I started doing some digging, I even went back into Wayback Time Machine, I found listings and dead URLs from when they were listed on Alibaba, but it's all been pretty much scrubbed from the internet. And although Top 10 has a phenomenal presence on there, Changwang and CWWK is non-existent on there. Is that a big deal? No, not really. Not a lot of users watching this are probably going to use Alibaba there. But Alibaba 
was kind of forcing users uh, or brands to provide significantly more information about the brands than any other retailer I could find, which then led to the question in my mind, why is it that uh, Chang Wang and CWWK was on there and are now been effectively scrubbed? Where is a document like this where I can find out more information about Chang Wang and CWWK that they would have needed? And maybe that is the reason they're not on there. But then again, on the flip side, CWWK provides significantly more information about their products individually. So whether it is that you go to CWWK or later on, as I'll show you when you head over to their AliExpress portal, I'll tell you right now, they provide significantly more information, depth your information. Also, they provide a lot more images. The way the information is presented is a great deal more text-based when the majority and anyone that's ever used um, these horrific uh, list, uh, listed pages on the likes of AliExpress will know that for some bizarre reason, they insist on all the text being in image format. Uh, but CWWK not only providing all that information on their main pages and carrying that over to their listings, but on top of that, their support and services section also provides a lot more of the BIOS information, background detailed information and software directly from there, heavily um, under, underlining the fact that they are indeed OEM. They are the hardware uh, manufacturers there at the background of a lot of these products. Now, when it comes to uh, warranty support, there is once again that same vagueness. So for example, even though I found several of their products online that did not state any warranty, not all of them that was true for example this one this is a, a router here and it did mention a 12 month warranty so again how much of that is true we dug a little bit further into some of their main website there the dot com chinese website that we'll talk about in a moment and there's a lot more information about their warranty a lot more information about the coverage there and they even went to the trouble of providing a little bit more information about their factory as well not only a few still shots which by the way could mean anything let's be honest uh, but at the same time they did provide a lot more information about the address which once again leaned me more and more into the fact that CWWK and Changwen is far more hands-on with their product. Now, on the flip side, uh, the Chinese website is one of the worst websites I've ever sodding used. What do I mean by that? Well, it is absolutely inconsistent as all hell. If we're trying to get to these options here at the top, I'm going to have to zoom in. It is a nightmare selecting some of these options. And although it took me ages to figure it out, it really was in the end a case of having to use the tab key to go through some of the options to find out more about this company. And we'll be going through some of these later on. But overall, when it came to looking at both of these sites, it seemed that if I wanted to, you know, buy the product, it was much, much easier to buy top 10 products than it was for me to try to buy CWWK products. And they are listed on Amazon, they are on eBay, and they are all on AliExpress. But after that, finding out more information and finding even further retailers, CWWK, which again has all of that ROHS and CEE uh, coverage there, you know, they've got that conformity and um, support and certification, but nevertheless, they are not as available to buy online, which again makes me wonder whether CWWK are the manufacturers and Topton are much like everyone else, like Ustar and stuff like that, and Ace Magician and the like, just rebadging. We don't know for certain, but it doesn't tend to make you feel that way when you look at the way this has all been laid out. Further still, when I was investigating some of the documentation that arrived with a recent CWWK uh, AMD MOBO, we were using Google Translate to find out more about where it came from and if there is support and warranty included with it, where exactly would we have sent this NDA or broken unit within that one year warranty? And from digging a little bit further, we found this address here. Now this address here, once we went into uh, going into Google Maps, let's bring it up on there, we are able to find out a little bit more information about them. Not only where uh, the uh, factory is and some more information about the distribution centers versus that of the sales desks, but this is a location here for Topton, and this is the location I could find for CWWK, and they're not exactly close by. Um, but when it came to that return address, and let's bring that back up there on screen, and again, that was the Changwang address uh, there at Tianbai Road. Let's open that up into there. 
that's still kept coming back to this address. All this led to me further investigating a lot of the images that were available on Topton's and CWWK sites. And when I got to the ones on Topton, I started digging around. And of course, it's very, very difficult to go through a lot of these images. Notwithstanding, they are very low res. But even when you use Google Images like this, you can see right now that this is the image from Topton's site. I've used just one square, that corner there. We can open that tab up in a brand new window. And what we found there, opening that up there, we make our way back, is a product. Obviously, it's a nice product for us here. But as you can see here, there is Dugan Tuafen Electronic Company Limited. So again, that is Topton there. At the very least, they are still using that image on a number of their different uh, differing sites. But when I went into an article here on Factories of the World from October 2012... There was a lot of crossover about the addresses that were being featured everywhere. Not so much the images, because obviously the images themselves do seemingly seem to be those uh, utilised and provided by that of Topton on the factories where their products are being uh, churned out. But at the same time, it seemed very obvious to me that these factories are obviously working on multiple products for multiple vendors at any given time. And again, you can dig into quite a lot of significant information about into the individual addresses. Not Again, not the images, because the images, even Google's lens system here, is not quite good enough to give you reliable information on that score. But at the very least, when you're digging down more and more into these facilities, you find out more about the addresses and the crossovers. And often, it's the same building, but a different floor of manufacture they're working between them. Which now brings us to Changwang CWWK because at first I was actually feeling pretty darn good when I was investigating the images, finding a lot more references directly to either Changwang or companies that were owned by Changwang seemingly. So for example, this is that Chinese.com site and there were some images there of what they claim to be their production line. And when I did some investigation online of each of the individual images, I started finding other third party page results. A great example like this, x86pi. And then when you go into their about section it would then go directly into finding out more about them and a little bit more further digging and boom we found Changwang once again uh, for established in 2015 there we still don't know anything uh, about the number of staff they've got we do know they've moved location four times uh, in the course of their um, now what are we saying eight to nine years of um, uh, industry and uh, production but when we look more about the company and when they're established we look here about the established uh, CWWK main pages this is on their own site and then we're seeing this different domain just aping a lot of that information I was thinking okay so it's one factory line that's fine, as long as all of the individual components are Changwang and it's just an you know, overbranching corporate, that's fine. But then I found this, Mini Root, again, largely cloning all the information we saw right the way down to a lot of the JPEGs and PNGs. And on here, when we try to go for Changwang, we're not finding anything on there. And indeed, their development path, these guys are established in the first half of 2023. But when we dig into Chang Wang's own history here, we can see that them detailing quite far back as far as 2015, mentioning a lot of those individual moves for their production facility. There wasn't really much talk about whether they were moving because they were scaling up in those years. But nonetheless, it did kind of kind of burst my bubble a little bit when I was starting to feel pretty darn good about Chang Wang and CWWK feeling like a more established brand. And of course, if you are a home user, a pro shaman, not even a business user, just someone doing this for a hobby, um, or maybe like your own little custom home lab upgrade, I think it's understandable when you're looking at solutions that are quite budget, definitely compared to that of turnkey local solutions in the US or Europe. I think despite that saving, these days it is not difficult to put together a website. And particularly with AI, it's not that difficult to pull a load of fluff on a website. And I always think it's really odd when I see companies making that kind of bunts when we see uh, Topton here, uh, Topton, and their website arguably is the slicker of the two. As I've mentioned, they definitely have the more established online presence. I will say, Chang Wang website not only made my head hurt, but it made my logic hurt. Sometimes they will talk about their company um, 
um, uh, proud achievements and it would all be in Chinese and not a single word in English. Sometimes I would find some of their results and scroll through and as mentioned find those images um, slightly contradictory elsewhere. When I would go through their about pages they didn't even use like nonsense text for here. Here is their development history, development history, development history. Here is their factory environment, factory environment and again none of these are pages that have just broken and not loaded and I know you're thinking it's because you've half paged it Rob that's why it's not working right that's really not the case this is just non-filled text when it comes to the areas where i would want to know more about the company and there's absolutely no way that i can say i'd be filled with confidence spending money on a brand where the company culture tab is just the word company culture repeated numerous times and finally, security. Let's be realistic. A lot of users that are looking at Topton or CWWK to build their very own PFSense firewall box. And again, with these little micro PC boards that are even smaller than the ITX we've talked about, they are hugely desirable in terms of heat dissipation and just sheer power versus that of power efficiency to keep the energy bills down. But when you are getting products, even without an OS on board, even without all the other you know bells and whistles to build a pc and you think right i'm fully in control in control of the software sadly there are instances already shown online and probably one of the loudest at the moment is a brand like ace magician where their mini pcs were shown to find a tiny partition on the internal storage drive inside that had malware had hackware on board now they have already been approached by numerous vendors with uh, delisting their products and they had to put out an official statement about what to do about it and although they did put their hands in the air i wouldn't say they did it the best and a lot of the blame comes down to uh the manufacturing line and uh third parties introducing stuff into that software early doors before them again leading to that question mark around whether you are dealing with direct manufacturing branding here or you are dealing with little layered brands being stacked there on top who are just getting the hardware and then slamming something on board and i think it's important because notwithstanding ourselves we've talked about both chang wang and topton quite a lot we talked about it on youtube as well with numerous builds and recommendations and hell uh, serve at home uh, look at linus tech tips look at all of the big guns out there they are talking about these products in arguably a legitimate way in the way we talk about Synology, QNAP, Netgear and network products. The ultimate answer is we simply don't know because like a lot of products where individual components are coming out of China, there just becomes a point when when it's all put together, is there a nefarious individual in the middle? Uh, there is a comment I found very, very interesting here uh, where they talk about a, a lot of people don't appreciate the work that would have to go into creating uh, a firmware backdoor that would create the means for mass production of a product to also make a little bit of scratch by pulling data back and analytical data or real world data there and of course with cryptocurrency and bitcoin there's a lot of users and may find that they're just you know you look a few years back just being turned into you know nascent bitcoin farms there unfortunately the sad answer is when we're looking at these two brands side by side that we do not know enough about them in terms of the manufacturing technique and i think they could both stand to be a lot clearer about are their products being made by them or are they utilizing a third party and if that's the case actually say so in lovely clear clarity uh, but on top of that we need to know more about their companies themselves and when they are partnering almost exclusively with sites like alibaba and aliexpress how does that affect your warranty because there are countless stories found online about these two brands being near enough impossible to talk with when it comes to a PSU fault, something as simple as your power supplier not running correctly or your power supplier dying, sometimes these devices use very, very strange internal PSU boards that work between an external DC and the board itself that are literally irreplaceable without the manufacturer's intervention there. Will I continue to recommend these two brands? 
I think I will, but with, of course, the caveat when we're talking about them, that you have to understand, they are lower priced for a reason. Not just, let's be honest, the ethical concerns in the background, which always play a part in everything we buy from my modern mobile phone to even a toaster. But on top of that, it is the idea that you need to know what you are doing when you buy these products. Do not consider these in any way the same realm as a turnkey NAS solution or a turnkey router that you buy from the likes of Netgear, or even if you're, you know, in Germany, Fritz, good, you know, ever looked into that brand? Great little brand. Um, but the point I'm making is, I'm not dismissing these brands as an option for DIY NAS solutions, because ultimately any solution that comes out, both for NAS and routers, is only going to be as strong as the latest firmware update anyway. And I don't care if you're buying from uh, Google, I don't care if you're buying from some e-website on the other side of the world you've not heard of. It's still down to you to manage your security concerns. Reliability of hardware, that's a different discussion. And I think in terms of the warranty for both of these brands, I feel like the CWWK warranty is going to have you back a bit more. But again, feel being the key word, there's just not enough consistent analytical data online to back that up. I feel do feel that Topton is the more known brand. But is that right that they should be the most known brand when all the evidence right now seemingly points to CWWK being closer to the mark at the production level? Again, just based on what we're seeing. You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, we're just analysing what we see. And hopefully, if you can add to this discussion or find other examples that I missed, maybe there's a follow-up video in it. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time.